being relaxed in life can be hugely beneficial. Things just tend to happen. Sporting shooter editor Dom is a laid-back sort of fellow anyway, but with his magazine deadlines met and the sun shining down, this early evening autumn stalk has a sense of being a chilled-out affair. And as if by magic, we get a flash of a bottom. It looked like a rose bottom to me. Just a fleeting glimpse. It's just grazed around the corner. So I'll just have a sneak and have a look. But it's not where we're here. And the wind coming across us, so we should be okay to get a little bit closer. Hopefully. A fallow's bottom would have been better, but never mind. Lovely to see roe deer. Absolutely my favourite deer to see in the country. From the gateway we see that this roe is not alone and she has twins with her. Make that triplets. Lying prone and with the wind in our favour, they stay put until they sense something coming through the crop. It's a fallow, and where there's one, there could be loads behind it. Once the coast is clear, Dom gets on his sticks, just in case. Nothing is in tow, but one minute later, the doe and her three young reappear from the woodland on the right, just 60 yards ahead of us. We assume they'll look up and be gone but not a bit of it. And we get some stunning footage of these beautiful deer. The kids are all young bucks. Eventually, the doe notices us, but is not off straight away. One of the bucks heads off with her, but the two remaining bucks are undaunted. With the sun dropping, we need to get on, but it's difficult to walk away from such a close encounter. I thought maybe I'll just, uh, just set the sticks up, just so that if uh, a mature fallow buck did show, I'd be in position to take a shot. And lo and behold, the, uh, the family of Rose, which is a, a mature doe, and, the three young bucks trotted up, grazing and playing and just having a good time in the sunshine and ended up about, I'd say, 10 metres, no more than that, literally no more than that, and oblivious to our presence, you know, and we, we were stood in the middle of the track, still, I had my binoculars up, David had the camera covering his face, so perhaps we didn't quite look like a human threat, um, but it's the closest I've ever got to to road here for that length of time, you know, to be just a, a few paces away and observe them. Um, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, and, and it shows, you know, what can be accomplished just with a bit of good fortune and basic field craft. Um, so, you know, really, that really made my evening, to be honest. And if we don't see another deer, then I'll, I'll still be going home a happy boy. But we better go for the high seat now because the, the sun's starting to dip and the, the evening is drawing in. So we'll crack on. The high seat offers a fox and a very late row. Too late for us, but, well, Dom's mind has been on other things. Predictably, after peaking early in the evening, uh, we didn't see a fallow buck tonight. Um, we did see a rather splendid row buck from the high seat, just on very last knockings of, of light coming across the field. Uh, but uh, hey, they'll be here another day, and it was such a privilege to get so close to those row 
earlier on, you know, we spent most of the time at the high seat just talking about that. Um, it was really, really good and uh, you don't always have to pull the trigger to have a great night out with your gun. So uh, we're going to head back now, but uh, all in all, an evening to remember.